He's continued to grow each and every year. You're talking a kid who had an, an ACL injury, rehab, came back stronger. And, and if you follow DeJounte at all, the kid lives in the gym. So uh, hopefully he'll get rewarded one of these days soon. Um, I think he may have a chance to get rewarded because I won't be able to play in the All-Star game. So say what? He, he may have a chance to get rewarded um, by Commissioner Silver, and I hope that comes to fruition for him because he deserves it. Yeah. Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dash Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes, and today we're talking hoops. We're talking my dog, DeJounte Murray, y'all. Yet again, getting endorsed by someone else, okay? Outside of San Antonio, outside of, you know, the... Um, Spurs system, the organization. Draymond Green once again stands up for my boy, and I had to make a video about it. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that bell for more videos. Thank you so much for your continued support. Okay, guys, I'm not going to keep you long because I just made a video about Steve Kerr endorsing Murray for the All-Star Game. So a lot of my thoughts are in that video. So if you haven't checked that out already, go check that out right now. I have it linked above. Click that link. Check that video out for my extensive thoughts on Murray being an All-Star and being endorsed by Steve Kerr. But I had to kind of make a video and be a little redundant and make another video because Draymond Green was, you know, selected to the all-star game tonight as a reserve um, well deserved you know especially at his position you know the forward position and that has made things kind of awkward in the Western Conference because it is a guard heavy game um, guards are heavy in the Western Conference you know Devin Booker Chris Paul Donovan Mitchell and so forth i can't necessarily say that murray could deserve to beat those guys out outright so especially with the spurs record so i'm not necessarily disappointed that he wasn't picked to the reserves because if you're a fan of the game you kind of figured that he wasn't going to get picked because it's just too much competition at his position you know it's not like an andrew wiggins situation where he plays the small forward so he can sneak in there at the forward position you know murray's a point guard you know he, you know you probably can just you know suggest that he's a shooting guard but you know those days are gone as far as positions in you know the all-star games so you know but draymond brought up a good point just like he said in the intro you know adam silver has the power to give murray a shot at the all-star game his first go at it that'll be great for san antonio that'll be great for the spurs fans we need a w baby it just be awesome story to see this guy get into the game even if he is chosen as an alternate you know i know the haters are gonna have something to say about that but man forget that it's a great experience for our young guy so hopefully adam silver silver comes to the rescue and does this and now just in case if you think that's a long shot adam silver is known for pulling being pulled by his heartstrings if you remember last time dag on michael conley <laughs> made the all-star game last year over DeMar DeRozan which I thought was super ridiculous but he had never been to an all-star game before he was towards the end of his career so Adam Silver put him in there now obviously with the Murray situation this is very different you know he still got many years to go you know it's conceivable that he'll be in the all-star game one day especially with his game improving so much you know but it would be a feel-good story for the league, for the NBA, for Spurs fans that need a W for him to get in, you know, get in and experience this as a first-year player. And one of the things about the whole Murray thing, and I know some people wonder, why you go so hard for Murray? Why you, why are you so excited about Murray? I've been a Spurs fan for so long, and I've been fans of almost ready-made players d rob ready to go mvp tim duncan ready to go mvp tony parker had a bit of a learning curve so did manu but they became great players rather quickly even Kawhi, you know you can make the argument that he developed rather quickly 
DeJounte is different. You know, I'm not saying he's in the league with those guys, but it's been a slow crawl. A lot of trials and tribulations like the ACL, you know, the turnovers, the inability to shoot, the inability to be consistent, get on the floor. Sometimes he was starting, sometimes he'd come off the bench. All that stuff year after year after year, the doubters, the naysayers, hey, let's trade him. Oh, he's sorry. Oh, I wish he was as good as Derek White. All people saying that, and now here we are. You know, he's in the conversation to be an all-star. He's in the conversation, you know, to be an alternate. He's in the conversation when you talk about 10 triple doubles, Ernie Johnson giving him props, you know, Draymond Green giving him props, the TNT crew giving him props. That's huge for him. And that's huge for us, man. We're not in the championship realm anymore as of yet. So these small wins, these small W's are huge. So shout out to Draymond Green for representing for my boy. Shout out to the TNT crew for representing for him. Man, I hope he gets in as an alternate. I'm telling you right now, if he gets in as an alternate, I am going to go buck wild on these videos, boy. I don't be talking so much trash. People are going to be up, unsubscribing. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for this one. Just need to say something real quick for my boy. Check out the other videos on the channel. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.